Hi guys, it's me Andrea. I will show you today a tin I altered and um, this is what I will use this and not this broken jewellery stuff. I will use feathers and uh, this um, tips, this nips, nips. <laughs> and I will show you here. I use um, paper clay, a light one. It um, I press it here into the mold. And the good thing with this one is um, it's perfect for the microwave. 10 minutes and it's completely dry. That's absolutely perfect for the impatient ones like me. Yeah, so I need everything. I need to have everything quickly. I make quite a lot that I can choose. You can look here, six I may. I'm not using them all, but uh, I will show you what I do with the paper clear. Put it back into the package and then I have this uh what do they call click and click i think or something they are absolutely tight no air is going in there and i use my paper clay in there or i can use it forever or i can store it forever that's quite good so i removed a lot of paper from this tin and then i use um, this um, tissue paper wrinkled it before and put it on with this um, uh, medium gel that's it's a medium a gel medium is a soft gel soft gel exactly that's the Amsterdam one I like to use absolutely perfect for stuff like that I wrinkle it even a bit more while pressing it down it was a bit tricky here for the edges I tried to avoid to put it all the way up on the sides because I was um, afraid I couldn't uh, close it anymore afterwards and it is tricky I can tell you so I will remove even more um, as I did afterwards I will show you but of course you're putting a lot of stuff up onto and it will close much much uh, more difficult so I um, have this die cuts this word die cuts and or dies and I put them down randomly no meaning and you can see there's one word short I um, cut out another one and I put it down to have a nice balance you will see it it's on now and I will put the same or I use the same gel here for the feathers and even for the nips it when it's dry it stays put absolutely perfectly it's not a problem so I try to get rid of as much as possible of that tissue paper but as I said um, already it isn't enough it, I have to remove a bit more that I can open and close it, close it uh, without problems so this is black gesso I use it's okay on the reverse but here with all the little yeah bits on it it needs quite a lot of layers that you really cover up all the white stuff it, it will be visible you know when it's dry you will see all these little tiny white spots and um, then I use my tattered angel this glimmer mist I have that for ages and I have to use it up at some stage always forget about that and I use this turquoise on top of my feathers and for the background I use um, it's a type of an orange I don't know they have this weird names for it <laughs> I'll tell you at the moment it is it doesn't it's it's not cold orange it called some sort of weird name so this one and I didn't want to have it that heavy on it so I put a bit down and then I use a baby wipe to blend it out it's much yeah a, a softer glitter or a softer shine I like it much more it's not that concentrated and I do it here as well on the whole um, front end I use it for the reverse as well and blend it out even more because I didn't want to have that much color on it more the shine you know you can see here it is too concentrated when you put it on only with a brush so blending it out makes absolutely sense and here for the reverse I do exactly the same and that's it so and then I use my gilding wax it is 
actually it's pebio. It looks like pebio. It's not a pebio, but it looks like. Exactly the same little pots and everything. I, I buy it here at my, my art supply store. It's a, a French company as well. So I don't know if it's the uh, same company, different name. I can't tell you. But it behaves in the same way. So it is really beautiful. It's the silver one. Tiny bit on the reverse. I only touch the surface with my finger lightly. And that's it. Already looks fantastic. So what I do to um, um, finish it off is I use this canvas and cut it to size. Here I go around my tin box and uh, cut it off then with uh, zigzag scissors. That's not frying. And I will glue that inside the box. I will work on it later and uh, colorize it. I'm not sure at the moment how or what I will do for the inside. I glue that simply down here with Eileen's tacky glue and that works perfectly on both sides. Put it on and I blend it here out with my fingers that I have glue everywhere. That's important. The glue needs to be on all the parts. And I do the same on the other side. And it's really perfect. As I said, I will work on it later. Here I polish it with a soft cloth and that brings out this shine even more of this gilded wax. It's so beautiful. You can see it here. So much more shine. And to pro protect the whole thing, I go over with my Liquitex shiny, uh, this gloss varnish. And that's it. And the close-up is coming already. You can see here. I love my little project here. It's absolutely beautiful. I think I will keep this for myself. I'm sure I will put put it into... I think I could be that I can keep my little nips in there. I will see. That's it. So, guys, I hope you like it. And if so, please give me a thumbs up. If you have enough time... You can leave a comment. I really like to read them and I always answer them. So I thank you a lot for watching guys and I hope I will see you soon with my next project. Have a fantastic time. Bye bye.